Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is tick enabled. Tick enabled, and that is this node here and here, is a getter and a setter that allows us to basically turn on and off the tick inside of an actor. The tick is, of course, usually the event that's called internally every time there's a frame, and it allows us to do things such as, in this case, I'm using the event tick to rotate a box. So if I run this, we'll find all three of my boxes are spinning. If I hit do something, it now says false. My tick is no longer enabled, and you notice it stops. We can actually verify that by going into here. Let's grab this last one. You'll notice the tick is running. The second one, the tick is running. And then the one I talked to no longer has a tick. We can come back in here, click the button again. It says true. And you'll notice our tick is now running again. Nodes are pretty simple. It takes in an actor, and it returns back if it is enabled by using the is actor enabled node. Do note that it's not the get actor tick enabled. It's called is actor tick enabled. So if you have trouble finding the getter for this, it's because they named it is. The set node is pretty simple. It takes in the actor again and returns if it's true or false. So in this case, it is enabled or disabled, whether you want to tick or not. There are two other nodes that are very similar, and they simply work on the component versions of actors. So they target an actor, compo actor component rather than an actor. And of course, you can get and set the ticks. And that's it. That is what this note is for. It's useful if you have something maybe you want to pause temporarily, or if you simply want to go ahead and turn something on later that is tied into the tick, you can just go ahead and enable or disable the tick.